In today's video, we're checking out the $100,000 collection, or at least what's left of it. What's up guys, we're back with an update about the $100,000 collection that I posted. Here's, here's the video. If you guys didn't see it, it was pretty amazing. Very large collection, a lot of stuff. Since then, we've sold a ton of cards, but there were so many cards in that collection that I have a lot left. Before we hop into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Lost Art Skill Drain. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what do you think about this collection, and let me know which cards you're surprised have not sold yet. All right, as we're getting into it, like 90% of these are gonna be for sale on Ruxpin34.com, so go to Ruxpin34.com, see if you wanna buy anything. If there's something you see on this video, it's probably on Ruxpin34.com. I didn't post like some of the lower end ones, so there might not be some of those, but most of this, like all the graded stuff's already on there. 75% of the raw stuff's on there, so there's a lot of stuff on my website. By the way, if you're on there and you want to get updates about when I post stuff, make sure you follow with your email and stuff like that so you can get an update. Okay, so I'm gonna go through what we have left. There are a lot of items in this collection, so it's taken a while to go through everything, but we've already sold a big chunk. We've sold a lot of good stuff. Uh, we're gonna start with some of the lower end slabs here. Well, that's not lower end. We have the Ghost Red Blackluster Soldier still on there. We have uh, that, whatever that rush dual card is called. I don't really even know. I want to do a little update about this just so, because here's the thing. I, I told you guys to email me. There were hundreds of emails. I got back to most of you. Some of you I didn't. If you weren't very clear about what you wanted, I was just like, I don't have time for this. So if you did ask me and I didn't answer you, check out ruxa34.com. Some of your cards are probably still on there. You can go buy them. And I should have done this to begin with, but I just didn't have time. Now that it's on there, it should, like, the communication between hundreds of people and me just to order, you know, specific cards and ask about specific cards, it takes way longer than just listing them on the website. So I finally did that. Uh, we got that done, at least. Uh, I actually didn't do a lot of it, but someone helped me out with those. So that made that a lot better. So if you see something that you want, make sure you guys check it out on Ruxin34.com. If you see it on this video, it's not guaranteed to still be there because I put them up a little bit early before the video so it's ready for the video somebody could have bought them but it's most of the stuff is still going to be on there so that's a really cool looking cyber end dragon i'm not gonna lie so go check that out over there yeah sorry if i didn't get back to you i tried to get back to most of you guys but as i said like it was a bad idea for me to say email me uh, at vaguely tell me what you want uh, speaking of is anyone has any information on this let me know i got offered 30 dollars, but i had no information on it so i don't want to sell something for 30 if it's worth 200 you know so i just didn't sell it so that one's not on the website so if you have an offer for this and you have like some sort of reasonable comp or like you know some info about it about what it's worth then hit me up uh because the person buying it said they had no idea and i was like i don't either so i don't really want to sell it that cheap especially for the consigner so let's keep going we have rainbow neo said it's a beautiful looking card and also another thing i got all these emails i responded to a hundred of them probably 80 of the people didn't answer tons of you guys didn't even answer back so i made these huge lists like they had like 15 cards they wanted i listed all the prices conditions and they just don't answer so that's another reason why like when it comes to communicating uh for buying cards it can be an absolute massive hassle so this will make it easier so if you just go to my website uh then it'll be a lot better did i even show those last cards i just realized i was just kind of flipping through them yeah there we go let's get a better look at those so okay here's the last of the graded cards as you've seen we have sold a lot of the graded cards that, that it's because i actually put them on my website a while back uh the others have just gone up on the website the the graded cards have been on the website for a couple weeks maybe a week now and by the way my website has other stuff besides this collection like there's some sealed stuff i posted some big sealed vintage boxes uh some big graded cards some other collections i've bought stuff like that so uh you're not just looking at this collection but these are all the conditions these should be accurate. So if you see them like near mint, near mint, near mint, like that's good. VLP, uh, you know, stuff like that. Very lightly played is what VLP is. Near mint is NM, mod play. So all this stuff should be accurate when you see it in the video. So if you're looking for near mint, most of the time it's going to be near mint. It's possible, you know, sometimes if you get a near mint card, there could be an issue with it because I did go through a lot of cards. But most of the time the near mint are mints, especially if they're starlights. Um, not necessarily gradable mint, so don't keep that, you know, don't think, oh no, PSA 10. Probably uh, not going to be PSA 10, just going to say that just in case, because you never know. They might be PSA 10, but I don't want to guarantee anybody PSA 10s, because then, you know, you're upset when you get in. It's like a PSA 9 or something. So there's still a lot of the Starlights left, because I did not post them on the website. I did sell uh, some of the big ones. I think I sold the Stardust, a few other cards like that, but there's still multiple copies of a lot of them. There's some that have, like, different prints, like Euro and 
Stuff like that, it looks like. There's a lightly played one of those. Exodia, I do not have a full set anymore. I think we're missing, like, the right arm, I think. Yeah, we have a bunch of left arms, not as many right arms, so... That is a problem when it comes to full Exodia sets. I think I sold two full Exodia sets for the Starlight. So you can get all but one piece and get one somewhere else, I guess. Blood Shed Dragon. We're into the Ghost Rares now. The Ghost Rares were in worse condition than, like, the Starlights. The previous time, they didn't have conditions on them. It was before I had ever, like, priced or, like, conditioned them out. Ghost Rares, if there are any scratches on the surface, it's automatically off near mint. I knock it down to at least light play. And if there's a bunch of scratches on the surface, like, maybe I'll give you guys an example when I see a mod. This one's because it dents, so it's not because of the surface. But uh, if I get a mod play one, okay, these are all ghosts from the past. So they're all going to be light play. These are all light play because of the back scuffing, and it's pretty bad. Uh, if it's, like, minimal, I might put it as near mint, but a lot of it was pretty bad on there. Uh, let's see if I can get another. See, that one I should be DLP, not near mint. That one's mod play. That's a new card, so I don't know why that's mod play. This one might be a good example. Mod play. There you go. If you could see all that scratching, I don't like to call that lightly played because if you get a lightly played card and it has that much scratching on it, it's a little disappointing. If I would get it at that condition and I'd be disappointed, I don't do that condition. So that I consider mod play because like, sure, there's mod play that are worse. That's just because other people put worse cards in mod play. I don't consider, I consider these to be mod play. If you got that many scratches on a ghost shark, cause they're very visible, it just doesn't look good. This one got mod play cause of all that, you can see that, but it looks like factory. So that's kind of a bummer on that one. But uh, yeah, so that is how that works for those. So I'm, I'm pretty, if you're buying a mod play card, you know, it might be a nice condition other than like foil scratching. Okay, let's keep going. Dark Rebellion XCs, we got Stellar Knight. I might not even show the ones I haven't listed on the website yet because then I'm just going to have questions about them. So I might show everything that's listed on the website, which is most of it, I think. And then all the other stuff's kind of like meta stuff. I'll, I'll get that up on the website eventually. But uh, I, I, it took forever to take all these pictures, by the way. I was taking them one at a time, and my arms were killing me. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's like when people ask about uh, when we do the big openings, and they're like, what, are your arms killing you? I'm like, no. This actually was rough, like all the, all the different ones. So there's a light play on that one. These are quarter centuries, it's really hard to see the names. IP, we still have all the IP Mascarena, so if you want QCR of that, have a bunch of them. Uh, Divine Arsenal Zeus, there's a bunch of repeats on the QCR, so we have a lot of options on those. Just keep going, let's see what we can get. And I think on some of the listings on the website, it might only be at one quantity, I might have to update some of those. Let's see, Dark Arm Dragon, so a lot of QCRs there. Okay, we've got... A bunch more QCR. We have, there's a large stack of QCRs in this collection, so we're getting through it. The Stardust, I mean, the Starlights, too. There's a Stardust uh, QCR, which, you know, not very expensive because it's a promo. But there we go. There's the end of them. So, MRD, this card was actually in really good condition, I feel like. It had some print lines maybe on the back. Both of them did. Uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, some old school. There's a 25th anniversary. So, uh, some of these were actually, uh, some of those were light play. Uh, they had just had some weird edges and stuff like that, but... I mean, for playing, it's not going to matter. We have uh, Blackluster Soldier Mama Print. Very cool. We have Bango Machine Go Chaos Angel. So I got a couple of those. So if you're a meta guy, hit me up because, you know, it's a meta card. I don't I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> and speaking of the meta guy, here we go. We got more. We got five, six, seven of those. Yeah, I, yeah. I, a lot of comments were like, that's an original DT. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. It I thought it was one of the reprints. Uh, it doesn't really look that good good i know a lot of people think it does so sorry guys but yeah still buy it <laughs> okay crimson dragon uh the exodia somebody messaged me about this didn't get back to me so um the exodia uh heavy play you have heavy play dark paladin um Celtic guardian we have the seven tools of the bandit light play i don't know why i did that noise in my mouth i saw a text on my phone because i use my phone to record and I started reading and got distracted. Okay. This one's in good condition. I put VLP slash near mint because I didn't want... If you say near mint LLB, people are going to be like, is it PSA 10? It's like, no, it's it's not. Uh, near mint mystical elf. So those were in good condition. Rainbow dragon, VLP. If they're like out of place like this, that means somebody asked about them. I pulled them out and then they just never got back to me. So uh, a lot of the... That's what a lot of these are because these some collector rares, some random stuff. Metamorphosis, no interest on this so far. So if you're a goat format person, hit me up. Bestial Dispater, same thing. That's a meta card. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. I think all of this... Okay, this is where it stops. So I didn't put these up. These are like $1 cards. So they're not up on the website at the moment. So that's where it stops for that. And while we're here, I'll show you guys a few more things I have on the website. So we have uh, PSA 8, Reprint Change of Heart. We have a Spellbinding Circle, PSA 8. 
Um, that one sold. We have a Vampire Lord, which I've talked to a guy about this. He hasn't messaged me that he's going to buy it yet. So may or may not still be there. Vampire Lord PSA 10 first ed. Then we have a Iv, the World Chalice, PSA 9. We have Obelisk, PSA 9 from the theater promo. These are some from another video recently. I've sold a lot of these actually from that video about a week ago. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, make make the reference, make the reference, okay. Uh, Gold Pride Captain Carry Starlight, not QCR. Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye, which turns out apparently this is one that I pulled and then he bought it from me and then he graded a PSA 10, the guy who could sign it with me, so. Uh, yeah, it's it's been seen on the channel before. Isn't this the one that we pulled with the, uh, this is the one we pulled with the IPs, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Then we have Heavenly Zephyr, so that's pretty cool to see that come back around. Uh, protecting Spirit Loagant, another Obelisk, that's a PSA 10 though. Ulti, who remembers this one from Docs? Pretty cool. Time Wizard, Time Wizard, Asian English. We have a Mirror Force. Yeah, and make sure you read the Asian English. People, I'll put giant letters, Asian English, like the first two words, and people will still buy it and be like, oh, I didn't know it was Asian English. It's like, maybe look at it for a second. Come on, guys. We have uh, Elements of Hero Neos. We have a uh, Cyber Dragon. And you know who you are if you did that. We have Blue Eyes of Base Dragon. You know who you are. I'm not mad at you. Just maybe read next time. I know it's Yu-Gi-Oh players. I know, I know, but still. Expertly Happiness. Collector rare. There are a few others from an older consignment that I still have up too. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. These are not super high end, except there is one big one that has not been bought yet that I will once again post. We have, or not post, show you guys. Just going to go through these pretty quick because, you know, they're somewhat low end, but I just wanted you guys to see them. There's an Asian English ring of destruction. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty rare. We have chain destruction. Karma Cup, we got a burp. We have delinquent duo Asian English. So a lot of Asian. This is the big one that I'm surprised is not sold. Ulti Japanese Raviel PSA 10. So if you're interested in this garden, check out the website. I think we have it at 500. So right at the beginning, I was offered like four something. It was like 425 or 400 maybe. And I said no, and we have not had any, no one's bought it since. So maybe that was a good offer. I don't really know. So hit me up. All right, let's go through these real quick. Magic Spectre. I do have a couple of sealed products. I want to show you guys. Morphing Jar from Tournament Pack 4. It's a six, but still probably could crack that and be pretty nice. And then we have Pulling the Rug. You probably want to play that in your Edison deck. Birthright, Light and Darkness Dragon, and Red Eyes. That's a pretty... Why does that look faded? I think it's just a starter deck. We're like super yellow for some reason. All right, so we have a few boxes on there. There might be more than this, actually. But these are the ones I know for sure are on there. We have Rise of Destiny. I actually have a couple of these. So Rise of Destiny. By the way, if you see anything on here and you want me to open it as well, that'd be really awesome because we make a video out of it. So Rise of Destiny, this is a hobby box. So got a couple of those available on Ruxa34.com. Make sure you guys check out Ruxa34.com. That's what this whole video is kind of about. Let's go check it out. Then we have uh, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. I got a couple of these. First edition. These are not that easy to come by. They usually don't come up that often. So I've got a couple of those. We have a first edition Enemy of Justice. This is a hobby box as well. Right there. Then we have a first edition Gladiator's Assault. So we're talking like really cool now. I mean, these are very high end boxes. Uh, magic formula, maybe, who knows? Maybe one day it could be in there. And finally, we have a Flaming Eternity First Ed. This is also a hobby box, as you guys can see right here. The 24 code means hobby, 30 means uh, not hobby. So very awesome right there. And there, sh there will be more in the future. You know, there might be more now, who knows? Cause like right now is the past. When you're watching, it's the future for me. Might've put up more stuff. So make sure you go check out ruxa34.com if you guys are interested in any of this stuff I have available. And uh, I will be continuing to add stuff to my store. So make sure you follow me uh, via email if you guys want to see when I post new stuff. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.